And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Sultai Spectre. That's right, we have to try out this brand new historic card, Hypnotic Spectre. This is part of Historic Anthology 1 with the 20 new cards that they're adding to the format. Um, if you don't know about Historic, this is where basically everything is legal. Everything from Ixalan to uh, Throne of Eldraine um, is legal. And um, and plus they have added uh, 20 new cards. And one of them was this, this one, Hypnotic Spectre, 1 BB for a 2-2 flyer. Whenever Hypnotic Spectre deals damage to an opponent, that player discards a card at random. So yeah, this can be pretty devastating um, if you can hit your opponent with this card. Is this really going to be good enough for Historic? I don't know. We'll kind of see. Probably not, but we're going we're gonna to go ahead and give it a try. So the best uh, shell I could think of with Hypnotic Spectre is playing it with Gilded Goose and Llanowar Elf for one mana accelerants because you want to play this as early as possible. This used to be really good back in like revised days, like when you had Dark Ritual and you could play have turn one Dark Ritual and then Hypnotic Spectre and just get it down on turn one. We're going to be trying to play it on turn two, have Gilded Goose, Llanowar Elf out here. Um, the other card that we're going to try to play on turn two, because another great creature to play on turn two that's very similar, is Thief of Sanity. This is like our, our standard Hypnotic Spectre. So, you know, we're going, we're doubling them up. We're going four Hypnotic Spectre, four Thief of Sanity. Honestly, we should probably be playing like two or three of each, right? You know, kind of thing, not like four of each. But, you know, we're maxing them out and seeing how good they are. Um, and then, you know, we can adjust from there. Also, of course, we got the other thief, not the Thief of Sanity, the Thief of Crowns, um, another great uh, card to play on turn two um, with the help of Gilded Goose, and of course, it makes Gilded Goose better. So, of course, Once Upon a Time is going to be a really key card here because you know we're, <clears throat> we want basically every game to have turn one, one drop, turn two, Spectre, Thief, or Thief of Crowns, but hopefully Thief of Sanity or Hypnotic Spectre on turn two most of the time. Um... Then, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what we got going on. Hypnotic Spectre, making our opponent discard cards at random. Thief of Sanity also fills our opponent's graveyard. So with both of those cards filling the opponent's graveyard, we're going Drown in the Lock for a removal spell that can also be a counter spell if we get out ahead and we can untap, and then maybe we can just hold up Drown in the Lock as a counter spell. Um, I got a couple Assassin's Trophies just to be a, a cheap interaction spell as well. But on, honestly, like maybe Drown in the Lock is going to be awesome, and we want to play more Drown in the Locks. I'm playing a couple dive downs also. I thought about spell pierce, but I'm going to try a couple dive downs to be able to protect these things as well. Then we got, of course, a couple wicked wolves. Um, and then in, instead of the third wicked wolf, I want to try a hostage taker. Just, you know, hostage taker is really cool. So we're going to play a hostage taker in here and then a couple Golgari queens to eat up some Okos. So, yeah, let's let's give this a try. Like, we're going to see this. We're going to play this over in Mythic. We're going to play it over in Ranked and traditional historic let's see how good hypnotic specter is in historic i guess i guess i should put the r here because we're playing it in ranked and we, we did some ranked with mono black zombies it wasn't all ranked but i don't know we'll just put an r up over there too all right let's see how we do Yeah, we're going for the maximum turn two salt. Yep, that's that's our goal. Okay, turn two Thief of Sanity. We'll keep. You play Hypnotic Spectre in your modern Golgari deck? Awesome. Yeah, we need to get, like, Charming Prince. We need to make Esper flick, Flicker, <clears throat> Ravenous Chupacabra, Hostage Taker, Charming Prince. Mm. Well, Mono Red has really good answers to Lane of War Elves and Thief of Sanities. Uh, Burning Tree Emissary, that's a great card. That's a great card with, with uh, Runaway Steamkin, by the way. So the problem with playing Thief of Sanity on turn two, which is what I want to do, is they can kill it. You know, they just have a removal spell. They kill my thief. 
So I kind of want to wait till turn three so that I could protect it with dive down. Maybe I just let them kill it though. They got, we'll just force them. Force them to have the removal. Oh yeah, Burning Tree with Experimental Frenzy. Yep, that's another good one. So Oko, yeah, if I lead with Oko, it has six loyalty. You know, they just, they can pretty easily kill my Oko with like a burn spell. I think that Oko is more valuable than Thief, basically. And so we're going to lead with Thief. Yeah, so these things would have taken out my Oko. But they only got one card left in hand, and they just used two burn spells. So hopefully they don't have another one. Yeah, the Thief of Sanity's had that animation for a little while, but yeah, it's it's a new one. It It's had it basically since rotation. But yeah, it's a good one. Oh, good brother, what's up? Happy Thursday. Hmm. No! It's not what I it's wanted to do. I wanted to make a 3-3. It's been a long time since I've played Oko. <laughs> it's been a long time. That was not what I wanted to do. I don't think I could could Wicked Wolf there. Seriously? Just Can you not can I can I sacrifice this? What is what's the problem here? Is there is there some reason why I can't sacrifice this? What is going on here? Seriously. Oh, I have to click that little thing that said sacrifice the food? How is that at all intuitive? Yeah, I've never seen that sack the food thing before. So my burning tree emissary is good. Now I'm taking taking lethal, right? Mm, kill that. Okay. 
Guess we have to steal. <laughs> Alright, never mind, not taking lethal. What a bizarre expectation. Now taking lethal. It's been like that forever. I don't know, the last time that I played an Oko deck it wasn't like that. I haven't played an Oko deck in I don't know, like ten days or so. Why not steal Chain Whirler? Because Chain Whirler was tapped. I needed a blocker. I couldn't steal Chain Whirler because I needed a blocker. Yeah, that's yeah, that's how it always was whenever I played it before was the double clicking. Yeah, I guess that's a new thing. It's unfortunate, but this is just a really bad Hypnotic Spectre matchup because, you know, they empty their hand quickly. And it just trades down. Or Thieves Sandy can get us burn spells to kill their creatures. But Spectre can't. It's definitely not been like that since Ogo came out. Um, I think we had another sub a little bit ago. Yes, we did. Serrano. Sorry about that, Serrano. I didn't add you on here, but thanks for that reset. Okay, so double click was removed because sometimes you misclick. As it happened with Oko in this match. Yeah, that, that misclick on the Oko cost me that one for sure. Well, I shocked in there because we have so many different um, three drops, you know. Even though we didn't have one in hand, we could have drawn one. Burning tree is so good. These assassin trophies have looked terrible. Also, I haven't been casting them. To be fair as well. Just don't really want my hostage taker to die before I do something with it. Hostage Taker looking worse than Wicked Wolf would be. So trying out some different cards. They're not working too well for us. Wicked Wolf would have been a lot better. It would have been able to play the previous turn. All right, so that looks like a pretty tough matchup for us. We're all like our deck, our deck's designed to play two twos, 
And do you know what deck is really good at killing two twos? Mono red. So hopefully we don't face mono red again. That is not where we want to be playing Hypnotic Spectre against. Well, what did you want me to draw there, Angels? That was gonna that was gonna keep me alive. I said we weren't dead. What do you expect? What did you expect me to draw that we were gonna be able to come back and win? Because there wasn't a card. I'm not playing sweepers or anything. So what was this? So Oko. Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't kill. I couldn't kill Torbran. Torbran is four CMC. They didn't have four cards in their graveyard. I did. I didn't have removal for for uh, Torbran. Luo with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Luo. Yeah, murderous rival. Yeah, murderous rider, fable passages, and once upon a time. There's another new animation. Those, those are the three that I can think of off, off the top of my head. They have new animations. And there's the Once Upon a Time one. So Oko is a better play here. But I'm playing Thief of Sanity because that's what, that's what our deck's trying to do. I wonder why why is my name in rank like way over here? Is that a new thing? It's like tabbed over. Yeah, isn't this supposed to be over here? Yeah, it's also on the library. Yes, it's a it's a green glow on it and on the library. Oh, they did not have Oko. Nexus. Lame. Open your heart to the magic that dances around one by and all your cares are gone. Yeah, this is a new one that came out today. It's the avatar from the Knights Bundle. Witness the ties that bind us all. Rise, my elemental friend. Trixie 
Ooh, Thieva Sandy's really spooky now. Surely you see the humor here. Yeah, I definitely thought about that, that previous turn block with Gilded Goose, minus five Oko, steal the land. So, of course, we, we can't cast Temple of, of Mystery, which just says you have to cast stuff. We can't cast Temple of Mystery. And once Hostage Shaker leaves the battlefield, they'll get their Temple of Mystery back. Have to deal with this. Oh dear. Let's deal with this Nissa somehow, some way, at some point. I need more mana. My opponent has a lot of mana. I'm jealous. No, if they yeah, they'll get they'll get a real cavalier if they quasi duplicate the cavalier. They'll get they'll get a regular cavalier. But I want to cast this Nexus of Fate, but we don't we don't have any mana. So I keep on grabbing these things, but I keep on having to do other stuff. Behold, nature's true power. Does the exile zone make a noise that just keeps on going on the whole time? Is there just a background noise? It sounds like it, and I don't like it. Life cannot be denied. Like is that is that what that is? I will aid you. Uh, 
harness the elements. It's a, uh, it's a bug with Diva Sanity, maybe? So yeah, that that Nexus was pretty brutal. I'm just having millions of mana and me not. Having millions of mana, pretty brutal. I guess I could, I guess I could play Cavalier at Thorn. Put me down to five. I'm hoping we hit a woodland cemetery or um, a Hinchelin Harbor. Cool. Surely you must be famished. They don't have that many cards left in their library. If they have another Nexus, I lose. I just have to hope they don't have a Nexus. Yeah, the unhinged lands have a different border now than what they had before. Together, we will prevail. The land shall conquer you. Grind out goals by doing Kethis Activation, Druidic Vow, Ruinous Blast, Questing Beast Beatdown for lots of turns in a row. That is awesome. Good job.
Hmm. So I just have to hope that Thief of Sanity keeps hitting Nexus of Fates from them. You know, they're at 19 cards in library. That's all I can hope Let's right now. Broaden your existence. Oh my gosh, why, why do you have to be so laggy? Let's attack. Unfortunately, they, they made that second Gilded Goose. So I had to, so you know, like they got to block for a turn. Okay. There's one. Here we go. So we got rid of one card. Unfortunately, that's it. Another turn. Eric, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Sub, I appreciate that. Uh, Alright, well, we only got rid of another one one other card. <laughs> yeah, we're we're the Nexus deck now. Twelve hour streams going good. We're um, you know, almost not quite halfway through. Getting there. Welcome to the feast. So they're down to seventeen cards. Come on, thief! Keep keep going! Keep going, thief! There we go. We got rid of two cards now this time. Two cards. So now they're down to 15 cards. <clears throat> um, we'll just make another food token. Then 
pretty rough to try to fight through these last few turns of just the computer going so slow. Nexus. Alright, got rid of two more cards. They're down to 12. I figured out how to actually sacrifice food now. That took me a while. <laughs> we have now figured out how to do that. We gotta take these indestructible vigilant lands. <laughs> Give me that. Fairness. What a bizarre expectation. Come on, thief. One more. You can do it one more. Yeah. All right, let's update the sub goal. I was kind of waiting for the computers to slow down a little bit there. All right, there we go, 13 sub. Yeah, it's not so great playing with Nexus, is it? Yeah, I can't. Surely you must be famished. I can't really do too much about the timer. Now it's going to be harder for my opponent to kill me, though. <laughs> Todd, I can't believe you'd play Nexus. Nexus. There we go. We're we're milling them out slowly but slowly but surely. <laughs> All right, they scooped it up because yeah, we we're gonna just start being able to attack him now Like next turn I was gonna steal again. We're gonna attack him out on the ground and everything there And we got there thief of sanity So my opponent didn't have Krasis, right? Like, no, we, we never saw Krasis. Am I supposed to, like, unmoored Ego Nexus? Are they going to have enough to kill me if, if we take all their Nexus? I don't know, but then we don't get to kill them if we take their Nexus. Doesn't really seem like we need dive down. We didn't see any Okos, right? No, just Risen Reef.
Yeah, yeah, how are we gonna nexus them if we ego or we nexus? And the nexus is, is banned in best of one historic, but not in best of three. Can we get the, the turn two hypnotic specter dream? We gotta we gotta try. I think we're gonna have it. Oh. Huh. I kind of need Hintel and Harbor. But I really want these two cards. But I just need Hintel and Harbor. I'm definitely going turn two Hypnotic Spectre, but then it's just like turn three, I need to be able to go Harbor. Um, Oko. Ah, uh, we were going to draw the land anyway. Yeah, nice Ether Gust. Or Mystical Dispute. Or Growth Spiral. Yeah, my rank's gone down to the historic. It's all good. Yeah, we were in we were in the top hundred. Now we're at four sixty five. Oh well, we're having fun though. And that's what matters. No, Tamio. Like what is this? Hmm. It's the anti hypnotic specter card. Can't somewhere. cause you to discard cards. Wow, what a jerk move. Get out of here. It's a jerk move. Discard something now. Yeah, there you go. They could have a counterspell in their hand and maybe they'll discard it. You gotta discard something at random. Ooh, Veil of Summer? Yeah, get rid of that thing. <laughs> have not expected the best anti Veil of Summer card. Yeah, we told <laughs> we told Samio, now go to your library and think what you did. <laughs> Boo. It's a strange and magnificent world. All right, so if we if we draw land we can drown in the lock plus play Oko to make a. Behold, nature's true power. Huh, they took the Hintelin Harbor? Hmm. The only reason to take Hintelin Harbor instead of Island is that you have Vela Summer. That's the only reason. So I guess I play around Vela Summer by not attacking Nissa this turn. I mean, I could have gone for to, for trying to kill Nissa. Let's get another card out of their hand, though. Can't veil somewhere if you don't have cards in hand. Nailed it. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. One bite. And all your cares are gone. <laughs> no, I want to be Grow Spiral. You wouldn't. You wouldn't risk one of your two green sources off a of Grow Spiral. I'll counter that. Drown lock awesome. 
They were going to be able to quasi duplicate the cavalier also. No, the thank you. For us. Attack, do it. Wow, what an attack. I love it. Bold. No, go, go ahead, go ahead. I definitely don't just have a wicked wolf that will eat it or anything. Hmm. Maybe I do. into my face and put on your true shape. Stop! Yeah, it's the thing with the Hypnotic Spectre. If they, you know, once you make them discard all their cards, you know, they ran out of cards to discard. But we did make them discard, you know, two Veil of Summers and a Once Upon a Time. So that's pretty good. Makes life easier. Oh dear. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how Spectre would do in the Mono Black Discard deck. Basically, you know, it would have to replace, like, the three drops in that deck are, are all really good. I'd have to replace, like, a Yara. I kind of feel like even just playing Hypnotic Spectre on turn three may be a little slow. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Can we give Historic one more chance? <laughs> Is Oko Freddy or Bowie? Just a mixture of the two. David Mercury. I invite you to change your ways. Yeah, new effect for Once Upon a Time now. You think he's Alex from Clockwork Orange? I don't know. I don't really know anything about Clockwork Orange. But I'm sure there's going to be people out there that get that reference on YouTube. New Spectre card. Whenever it deals damage to an opponent, they discard a card at random. We made our opponent discard two Veil of Summers and a Once Upon a Time there that game like they were like holding up they were holding up a uh, veil of summer and we just made him discard it pretty great <laughs> yeah and by new i mean it was printed yeah it's not really new it was printed in alpha the very first set of magic 26 years ago almost 27 now
Not exactly new, but. Oh, there's Once Upon a Time. I was like, one land, land war off Thief. I was like, oh, come on, we have to have a Once Upon a Time, right? Moving over, moving over, moving over. There we go. Hmm. Well, it's not blue mana. I don't think I just take the goose, though. Yeah, I don't think I just take the goose. Even though the goose could add a blue. Oh no, not mono red again. Ugh, our worst matchup. That's what we lost to before. It's definitely our worst matchup. I think that our deck's gonna be good against the combo decks. Like that's really like what what this deck, like what we wanna play against. We wanna play against Nexus and Kethis and Field of the Dead. We want to play against all that kind of stuff. I don't want to play against Mono Red. Hmm. I thought maybe they'd be out of those. If I had, like, two blue sources here, maybe I would have waited. But I just had no... No inkling that... Man, I forgot about how good all these mono-red cards were. Get dive downed. We got a lot of overgrown tombs. We got extra overgrown tombs, even. Before this steam can turns into a 3 3. Sure, I could keep that. Be able to have the Wicked Wolf be indestructible, but, you know, whatever. I 
Yeah, that was a really clutch dive down that we had there this earlier this game. And then, yeah, now I just have the goose that can make food that we can keep on sacrificing. Yeah, the dive down de definitely won us that game. I agree. Yep, matchmaking is random. Okay, so we need these Legion's Ends. It's not a, his not a Hypnotic Spectre match, unfortunately. Isn't the best match for the Hippie. Um, let's see. I guess we just play a couple Negates. I could play this Vivian Reed that could take out Experimental Frenzy if they're playing that card. I hope not. We'll play one Hippie and one Negate. All right, Eric. Take care. We'll see you later. Turn two Thief. Of crowns. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Ooh. I had a mountain of evidence that they were going to shock that Gilda Goose. Then they didn't. Ah, boo, they still did. The Goose is back. It's not Thanksgiving yet. Can't cook this Goose. Yeah, leave Goose alone, you bully. <laughs> All right, look at that. I chose the correct one this time. How about that? Quite the nibble. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. No, Amon Cat's not in historic. Attack. Uh, that wasn't good. Um, all right, let's see. Let's hit a land. Yeah. Good call. Surely you must be famished. Um, everything Ixalan forward. It's just last standard format plus... All it is is last standard format plus Throne of Eldraine. For Historic. Plus the extra 20 cards from Historic Anthologies. I assume they're playing removal spells. Mm, 
I think it would just be a 1-2 for me. Thievus Andy is just awesome. They get one of their cards a turn, and we get two of their cards a turn. Besides, like, what we get for, like, our normal cards and stuff, too. And we can kind of choose which two card, which two we want. Ah, should have taken the wizard. tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. Okay, we beat our worst matchup, Mono Red. Yeah, you can get them with wild cards or you can just buy them all as a bundle. I think it's 3200 or 3400 gems and you just you get a play set of all of them. Thirty four hundred gems. All right, so thirty four hundred gems. <clears throat> we get to be on the play. Ah, uh, we don't have turn two hippie. We only have one land. Ugh. All right, I guess. <clears throat> I guess we wait till turn three. Probably shouldn't go to to five. Why does that have to be mono red again? <clears throat> Our deck is designed for the combo decks. Ooh, it's not mono red. So, Knight, are you worthy? Or are you wicked? I feel like I'm supposed to kill the Worthy Knight. This turn. But I also want to play Thief of Sanity. Hmm. This is a really tough call. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go, thief. Um, I don't like that. That means they're probably playing a whole lot of Ember Cleaves. I don't like that. Oh, Conclave Tribunal, don't do that. Venerate Luxon, don't do that either. No, don't do that. What? Okay. Cool. They didn't take my good card.
Yeah, Drown the Lock's been really good in this deck for sure. Strike Vigilance Lifelink. Be a 3 3. Yeah, the Abzan Legends that we're going to play after this, we got some legendary sorceries in there. Well, that's annoying. I should have thought about that. Probably should have thought about that. And so we still have Drown on the Lock available. Oh yeah, yeah, they, they needed to, yeah, we kind of won that with Thief. They needed to, yeah, they should have Conclave Tribunal the Thief, not the Wicked Wolf earlier. Well, that's all right, we'll take it. So we got, I don't know, do I have like, do I have Vivian kill stuff? Kind of feel like just again against the aggro deck, we're just going to take out the hippies and maybe trim a dive down here. I could, you know, like Vivian can destroy an artifact, an enchantment. We got assassins trophies though, should be good. Oko, Oko gets rid of equipment. <clears throat> Hmm. It's not turn two. Thief. Darn. Unless we would have drawn. A mana creature. Well, Assassin's Trophy looks pretty bad if they don't have any lands. <laughs> he forgot Broco could just deal with equipment. Yeah, Broco can just kind of do everything.
I will invert the world to watch kings grow. It's not poisoned. Trust me. Oh yeah, yeah, Bant. Yeah, definitely Bant with four Oko, four Teferi, four. Yeah, four, four of each Teferi. Or, yeah, just Oko and Teferis playing a bunch of those. That's definitely got to be good. You are fouler than a fiend. Cost three to equip that thing. Your new look is enchanting. Hmm. Why not put Helm on? It's just way too much mana for Helm of the Host with Thief. It's just just way too much mana. I think a little merriment is in order. Oh, okay. So the the weird border for the unhinged lands is an issue that they're working on a fix. Okay, it's not just something they wanted to do with their life. Gotcha. All right, time to go wide. Those blind to tyranny are lost. Just can't gaze into my face Pain and put on your true the shape. Body. Um, let's decline. I think I want all these lands. Yep. Yeah. Bant has Ban has basically everything. Yeah, they have a lot of good stuff. I mean, the the basically, yeah, you can you can definitely just outgrind people with yeah your your land where elf gilded goose and then yeah Okos into fairies and stuff like that. It's it's will you be able to handle the combo decks like your Kethis and your Nexus and um, Field of the Dead. You know, like, will you be able to handle Field of the Dead? It's a lot of creatures attacking. Oh, 
Oko. Let's have you block this thing. So they have to re-equip if they want to do anything with that. Alright, let's look for more knights. Who's the knight deck now? More knights. This is like our Agent of Treachery deck we played yesterday. It's like, you made this, I made this. Okay. Three and one. Let's go let's go one more match with this deck. I've been enjoying this deck. This has been good. Getting Thief and Hypnotic Spectre. And we haven't played against combo. We've played against three aggro. And then we did play against the one combo with the Nexus deck. I'm gonna reset arena though, because it's just acting all slow. So we're gonna reset arena before we get to our last match before we move on to our our next deck here. Um, uh, <laughs> after the last standard season, I don't even sigh at Teferi 5 anymore. It's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, well, we had to, we would have had to pay four mana to cast Helm of the Host and then five more to equip, and it was just too much. Um... <laughs> But yeah, our deck is is really built to beat combo. You know, turn two thief and turn two hypnotic specter are both just nightmares for combo. And then our sideboard having all the Ashiox and Unmoored Egos. So, but we've not been playing against Kethis or Field of the Dead or because um, yeah, like turn two thief against Field of the Dead, you just mill out their cards. I guess they could just play a Boreal Grazer, but besides that. You just mill out their cards, they don't even have the lands to grab anymore. Historic's another format, like standard. Hmm. Where everything from Ixalan to Th Throne of Eldrain is legal. So just basically standard before rotation plus Throne of Eldrain. Eldrain. It's not really a mulligan, but I don't love it. We just gotta have to, we gotta have Hypnotic Spectre on top, or Thief of Sanity, or Oko. We got a 12 and 53 chance of having a sweet turn two play. Twelve out of fifty-three. What's that? My opponent's taking some time. I'll pull up the old calculator. It's like, ooh, we hit it. Twenty-two point six percent. I guess we had even a better than. I guess we had a better chance because then we we actually had two draw steps because we were on the draw. So it's not we didn't have just one one draw step. So on the draw, the chances of hitting it. So on the play, it's 22.6. 
on the draw, it would have been ah more than that, like 52%. No, that's too much. I don't know. Whatever. My calculator kind of messed up while I was typing. I must have hit the wrong button because it did not get the answer that was correct. Oh, there you go. Gruel aggro with Burning Tree Emissary. You loving that? Wow. How could my opponent do that to me? I thought we were all good friends here. Just kill my Thieva Sanity. Yes, best of three ranked historic is out. That's what we're doing right now. They better not kill my thief this time. Because if they do, then I won't be able to steal stuff. Oh, don't you attack. No attacks. Ooh, that was close. So we had about a 40% chance. So we had 22.6 for with the one draw, but then on the on the draw we had a 40% chance. July. That wasn't the best auto tapping. They left three blue-black lands up when I have a land war elf. And I have a gilded goose to activate. Oh, that was really poor auto-tapping. Yeah, that was not good. <laughs> Everyone is expendable, except me. Yeah, that was the that was the worst possible auto tap. Yeah, Ashiok's an important cyborg card. about to 
Walk with me, sing with me. I w Let's broaden your existence. So just have three cards in the graveyard. Boo. Power surges through these lands. Behold, nature's true power. Be surprised if we meet again. Um, Your new look is enchanting. Get out of here, Teferi. Run, hey, his dark's going good. Yeah, having fun with the format. Alive or alive. Hmm. into my face and put on your true shape. So I think I wait a turn before attacking with a bunch of more 3-3s. Three could be awesome. Please don't be Krasis. Okay, at least it's not Krasis. Sounds like my autobiography. At least it's not Krasis. That's good. Uh, which one's the summoning sick one? Enter the battlefield this turn. Or this one. Well, I guess I want to save this other food anyway. Just make it an, an alpha three three. Your new look is enchanting.
<laughs> That's a Spelkter deck that we got here. Okay. Turn out that Oko card's pretty good. I had turn two Thief and then turn four Thief, but they had turn three Wicked Wolf and they were on the play, and then they had turn five Wicked Wolf. That was sad. Um, so yeah, I don't have too much for this matchup. Matchup. All these cards are good. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a pretty good Vivian Reed matchup. Be able to kill Krasis and just keep refilling our hand. Um, I mean, honestly, Hypnotic Spectre is probably like one of my weaker cards on the draw. Guess they have Teferi. Maybe just take out the Drown in the Locks. Drown in the Lock has been awesome for us, though. All right, we'll do this. Yeah, I guess maybe trim. I don't know. Like dive down will just keep keep them from Wicked Wolfing my thieves and stuff, but. I guess it is pretty bad against a fairy. Yeah, that's true. Lana Warolf does make Love Struck Beast better. That's true, that's true. Unfortunately, all buddy lands. I need to draw a shock land and a one drop. <laughs> Not that one drop. Ow. Well, if we could untap black mana, we could play Hypnotic Spectre with Dive Down Protection. Or we can murder his rider, the Oko. I invite you to change your ways. Because even our once upon a time, we didn't see any shock lands. Ugh. Looks like they got this one. Looks like I need to mulligan. Those once upon a times did not help me. Help me enough. Welcome to the feast.
Performance does seem a little better. It's not perfect, though. But the performance has been a little better. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play another. Um, I'm playing another Drown in the Lock, and another and a Legion's End, on the play, so I can take out their turn one mana creature, so they can't have turn two Oko. Um, yeah, getting them in on the play. On the draw, it's too slow. But it's not on the play. Alright, now we just need to draw one of our 11 two drops. I guess we got about a 20% a chance. Or one of our 11 three drops. Yeah, this is, this is Youthful Knight is the name of the card. It's a common. Ah, oh, dang. Sorry, good brother. That's not one of our 11 three drops. You'd think it would be, but it's not. Those are extra three drops. They don't count. That's one. I don't know. I don't know what they got going on over there. But I feel like they got something mischievous going on over there. Hmm. All right, I guess I can't do that. Just going to discard, huh? Gotta be holding up counter magic, right? Nothing left for no one. Well, we can pay for mystical dispute. If that's what they got going on now. Hey, Samantha has returned. Welcome back. Hope life's going great. And thanks, Samantha. It's our 14th sub of the day. MTG bots storm count is off by one. What are they doing over here? They're being all mischievous? Spooky? Let's slow this being all down. spooky. Let's try this. 
Go to discard. No lands. Darn. Man, this is pretty good at three mana. Surely you see the humor here. Definitely think mystical dispute, so I don't want to play this into mystical dispute. Basically, I could play like one of my cards, and I just chose the Oko to kill the Teferi. Could be spell pierce as well, which I would have had. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. Um, I guess we just do. I guess this plays around spell peers. Oh, Veil of Summer. I guess that's the thing. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Hippie. Let's broaden your existence. Though every fight makes me stronger. Get him, hippie. That's why we're playing the deck. It's to play hippies. Vivian Reed is back. No. So much fighting. Ugh. Come to me. Surely you see the humor here. Unfortunately, they have a bunch of food now, so if they do have Wicked Wolf to kill Thief, I can't stop it. Oh, right. Tulsmer does stuff too. I should have killed this Tulsimer before. I thought that'd be too late, but wanted to double check. Eh. Performance has been a little bit better, but not good enough. We've still definitely been having the lag and everything at times, so. It's not great. Should have just stole this Tulsimer last turn. That's a good card. No one knows the wilds like I do. Ramen with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome. 
I'm using the foil hypos because my regular ones are gone. No, no exile in the deck. Yeah, because as you can see here, like it's kind of getting some lag issues there. All right, I'm going to refresh the chat, so I'm not going to see anything in the chat after Mr. Rest, if there's any exile. So if you type anything there, I'm not really going to see it. I invite you to change your ways. Until Angels just said he is four mana. I saw that. They just have five cards in their graveyard for Drowning the Lock. Obviously, all, all we're trying to do is ultimate this Vivian. So I think we let this happen. That's not going to keep me from ultimating Vivian. You know, they could have like an ether gust or something. All right, looks like we're going to get Vivian ult. All right, creatures get plus two, plus two, Vigilance, Trample, Indestructible. So basically, GG. Gaze into my face. Okay. Your true shape. Four and one. With Sultai Spectre. Turns out just having... Turns out, like, Oko is pretty good in this format. I, I would not be surprised to see Oko banned in his store historic at some point in the future so it turns out when you have four gilded goose four land or l4 once upon a time it's very easy to have these things on turn two hey julson also getting the twitch prime sub in there second month now thank you so much thanks julson yeah so good good showing there four one over in uh, mythic yeah so the dive downs weren't the dive downs weren't super like they, they weren't amazing um but they did win us that one game against mono red you know we did get to dive down the murderous rider that won it, that at least let us stay alive long enough it was really golgari queen that they kind of won that game we got to do some cool stuff with him not specter like one of the games thief of sanity was really the all-star here though this was the like thief of sanity and oko thief of crowns these were the two all-stars um got to do so much with Thief of Sanity, including take infinite turns against the Nexus deck. We milled them enough <laughs> where then we just took all the rest of their turns. I just keep on, kept on grabbing, hit them with Thief, grab a Nexus, and, and keep on going like that. Um, yeah, this is a fun deck. Uh, Hostage Taker was pretty disappointing, uh, honestly. Like that, that should probably just be another Wicked Wolf. Unfortunately, I wanted to try Hostage Taker, and I kept on trying it, but Wick Wicked Wolf is just a better card. Um, but yeah, our, de our deck is really built to be combo. All the Kethys combo, Field of the Dead, and Nexus decks, and we we basically didn't see any of those. But yeah, having turn two Spectre and just starting making them discard their cards at random, turn two Thief, 
Both of those very good, but then also all the Ashiox and Unmoored Egos in the sideboard. And we didn't get to play against any of those decks. Um, Crypt Breaker was awesome. Yeah, I really liked that. Um, so yeah, you could play a little bit more removal here in the sideboard. Uh, we say, would you take out... I mean, yeah, I guess you could take out an Ashiok and an Unmoored Ego for some more removal, like Cast Down, but... We seemed pretty good against the creature decks anyway. You know, being able to play turn two Oko and Wicked Wolves, like this is still very good against creature decks. And then we saw how good Thief of Sandy was against the creature decks because we just kept on hitting our opponents with Thief of Sandy and then taking their creatures to be able to have blockers. Um, and yeah, basically Thief of Sanity, good against those kind of creature decks also. But yeah, that's, that's definitely an option. Um... But I would, I would really want to beat Kethys, Nexus, Field of the Dead. Those seem like the most powerful things. And so I, I like having all the Ashiox and Onward Egos myself. All right, but anyway, that's Soltai Spectre. We need to move on to our next deck. So if you're watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. Subscribe. Um, leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Historic. And if you're trying this deck out yourself, um, how's it working for you? You know, Do you like the dive downs? All that kind of stuff. Um, Again, the, the best version of this deck probably doesn't play Hypnotic Spectre, but we wanted to give it a try. We want to give Hypnotic Spectre a try. All right, uh, but that's it here for Soul Tie Spectre. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.